Hello from Spain. This is Esther Priestess Starot. Hello, my love. So let's do another, another reading. This time about love. This time about your soulmate. Okay, how will you recognize your soulmate? I will be doing a lot of channeling as a psychic medium that I am, and a lot of, of course, Tarot and Oracle. My angels, three groups. Okay, these are three photographs. Group number one, we have Rose Quartz. This is group number one. Group number two, we have Angel Aura Quartz. And group number three, we have Amethyst. My angels are reminded that if you want a private reading with me or a session through CAM, you have everything down below through my shop, only through my shop. Be careful with scam, okay? I will never text you through your comment section and will leave your telephone number. I only work with my website. And if you, if you want something very economical, that's where I go personally. I'm gonna give you time and specific details for just $1. You have five minutes in King. And in Purple Garden, you pay $10. And the moment you pay those $10, Purple Garden, full of incredible psychics and readers, like in King, they give you extra ten dollars more okay my loves i'm going to leave you to connect with your groups and of course don't forget to subscribe if you like the way i work i will see you in just a few moments Welcome, group number one. Hello, my love. So, so beautiful. The rose quartz that you have chosen. I love it. Such a beautiful representation of love, of self-love, of a healthy love with a partner. And let's see what is the image that you have chosen. Okay, my love. And I have channeled messages for each one of the three cards. So, this is the global view of Venus. Okay, my love. And this planet represents the energy of attraction. Get aligned to your soul purpose so Venus can help you manifest in an intense way. Okay, so we were asking how will you recognize your beautiful soulmate? There will be a very strong attraction from the very beginning. I think that you've never ever ever experienced an attraction like this, like this sort of chemistry. So that will be a sign for you that you probably have met the one you know that very beautiful and special soulmate with venus i feel that even you could be starting feeling feelings very in a very early stage since both of you you meet one and another this is so beautiful okay my love so let's grab some tarot let, let us let's see what else spirit wants to say through the cards how will they recognize? Wow, <laughs> the Ten of Pentacles. Look at that. How will group number one recognize their soulmate? Okay. I am channeling my love. You are so good at manifesting. Why are you having doubts? Okay, I was channeling that. Okay, I'm challenging again. Don't be so hard on yourself. Okay, you're very good at manifesting. You just see your life. 
they're telling me to tell you this so i don't know if you, if all of you guys you have been having doubts about this connection but with the card of the of the full and below we have the card of the moon this is letting me know that although you have not met probably this soulmate yet it's in your destiny the eight of swords sometimes you feel like in a sort of I don't know if you feel you have bad luck in love or you feel that you don't have a good eye for love. Maybe you keep attracting toxic people into your life. That's why the Five of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. So I believe it is a pattern or a belief that you got from family or from a family member or from somebody that feels like family. And with the Queen of Wands, this is letting you know that the person that you are attracting, you will recognize them that they're very highly mature, very clear, and somebody that is in tune with the feminine energy, with feelings, okay? Whether you want to meet a man or a woman, you are attracting somebody mature, logic, but somebody that feels with the heart, okay? I don't know if, if you had experiences lately or maybe in your past with people that you thought they were the one, but in reality, they made you feel like in a sort of imprisonment, you know, like restricted, not being able to be yourself, not being able to, even to have fun. I, I don't know if you attracted a lot of narcissists, I keep listening. Maybe it's not narcissist, but maybe they were like very mature people. It could be very mature couples. Even it could be ghosting, okay, because I sense somebody that is not able to see what's happening. So I don't know if you have passed through ghosting, Mm, maybe many people disappearing and not giving you an explanation let me tell you it's coming from something from family okay normally from the age of zero to seven years old we get everything concerning finances concerning love concerning even health issues so are you aware of this you have a lot of guided meditations to heal the inner child that is the key okay so Let's go, let's focus on the positive, how you will recognize your person. You will recognize them because they make you feel happy. You will recognize them because there's a very strong connection concerning your psychic abilities. Even it could be that there's going to be telepathy between both of you. I'm not sure if you guys are going to talk about this in the beginning, but at a certain point of the relationship, I'm sure that you will talk about it. The Seven of Wands, I think that... Um, Let me clarify this, why the Seven of Wands is here. Okay, the Queen of Wands, yes. So, hmm. Okay, be, be careful, okay? I'm not sure if this feminine energy could be a sister, a mother, even it could be a daughter, it could be a friend, an ex, an ex or somebody that you're having a relation, not a relationship, you're having a good time, but you don't want a relationship with her. This female energy, because it's going to be different for all of you guys, but it could be that when you meet your soulmate, they're going to try to push like a negative narrative towards you and this person and your soulmate. And you're going to, you know how you're going to recognize it. This is so interesting. <laughs> you're going to recognize it because you feel like what she's saying is not your truth. So maybe you already know which which woman, who is this? So she's going to try to stop you to be with this soulmate. Even if, if for example, let, let me put an example. If some of you, you are divorced parents and you want to meet a, a partner, not all, not all kids, not all children are accepting the next partner openly okay there's a sort of fear jealousy i don't know there's stuff going on i suppose it's quite normal so it could be a sign that okay it's not that she wants to hurt me but she's afraid of losing me or she's afraid of somebody new coming into our life and hurting us you know maybe in not in most of the cases it's not bad but be aware that's another sign interesting okay i am going i want to can you clarify the magician please 
we have the two of wands and the three of swords okay the magician so um, okay another sign that you're going to recognize your soulmate they're going to tell you that um, although many of you you're going to meet when you go out or from home online it could be but they're going to tell you that they have tried many times meeting people but they got so fed up that they stopped dating and right now they're chilling out so you want to meet your soulmate in a moment that they're not searching for love you know they're not searching for you why it's not because they don't want to be with you or to find you it's because they're fed up <laughs> they're fed up of disappointments i'm not sure if this is something that you are passing through as well so that's another sign that you have met your soulmate <laughs> so funny the explanations i mean it's quite this happens many times so interesting okay I'm going to grab some oracle. Please, Spirit, could you tell us more traits about the soulmate so they could recognize them quite quickly? Thank you. Wow, sensuality. Okay. So, I don't know if you can read it well. So, embracing sensuality doesn't necessarily mean you're a middle aged swinger, it simply means you're savoring one of the coolest aspects of being alive since sensory input it's time to get decadent and reward yourself with gifts for the senses you could drop a word of cash on champagne and chocolate or you could tune in and enjoy the incredible gifts around you the taste of an orange the sounds of the forest the texture of corduroy sorry i'm not saying it correctly i don't know your life the point is it's time to savor whatever your senses can grab hold even if that means you're being sensual okay so this is letting me know that of course you're going to see this person your soulmate that they're very very sensual okay very sensual the way they speak the way even they smell they smell very well i'm listening the way they talk, the way they move their body, the way they go to... I, this is so funny. I was listening. When you're going to be sitting down and you're going to see them, how they're going to go, I don't know, walking maybe to the bar or to the toilet, you're going to think, wow, now that's a walk. <laughs> Even the way they dance, okay? They, maybe they don't have like a, a lot of dance moves. <laughs> but that's why they, they know how to move the body, the body. So this lets me this lets me know that they're very good in bed, okay? <laughs> if I if I can say so. And and because it's saying orange and forest and uh, champagne, if I remember right. So this is let me know that many of you guys you are going to have your first date uh, eating on a nice restaurant or maybe even going um maybe even it could be like a coffee shop outside a park inside a park i was watching even with yosemite with the forest i mean it could be that some of you you're going to meet in the forest or in the park walking by yourself or walking with your friends or walking with your dogs with your dog yes it could be as well even with the card of the of the fool which is loco which is in spanish is like crazy it could also mean that the way you guys are going to meet because of the eight of swords has nothing has nothing to do of all of the stories that you have heard of people of of couples how they met you and your soulmate it will be different it will be so crazy i mean if you start talking about it to a stranger or to somebody that you love like a good friend, if you tell them how you guys you met and how you guys you started to feel for one or another, people are going to say like this feels like a sci-fi movie. Yeah. So it's not going to, you're not going to meet your soulmate like you have met other people that you felt attracted to or interested in or you went out with or you were in a relationship with. Nothing at all. Really nothing at all. I even I would say, I would dare to say my love that even physically they're not like your exes. 
it could be a mix or it could be but i don't think you're going to think when you meet them oh my gosh she looks like my ex or he looks like my ex no i don't think so no because you you were so fed up of certain relationships from the past that you promise not to repeat the same past so i think that concerning physicality i don't think it's the same physical traits it could be something that you like about all it could be but i don't think your soulmate is going to remind you of an ex and honesty and open-heartedness i love it i love this person for you i love this soulmate for you and i'm watching here too could be talking about february for some of you two days two weeks two months even it could be from now to two years both of you you will be together you know and let's let's read honesty i don't know if you can read properly this heralds a wonderful time of rooting yourself in a complete and total honesty so both of you you're going to become very very faithful okay very loyal loyal it might seem scary to tell the truth all the time with everyone and about everything but when you practice radical honesty you can stop hiding and start relaxing the best part is honestly from your inspires honesty from others what results in a routine to tooting trust parade and everyone's invited except the backpipe players but you know they'll show up they'll show up anyway anyway so your soulmate the, another way that you want to recognize them is that they're very very clear very straightforward not rude okay i'm listening not rude because many people think that being very straightforward you have to be rude no <laughs> okay so this is somebody very honest very sincere your woman is not going to lie to you you're going to sense it because i am listening from spirit that you're like a lie detector you know it's very difficult for people to lie to you and not to to be aware of it and they are not players so your soulmate is not a player you're going to see it as well maybe they're going, even going to tell you that they cannot stand that people that are players maybe it's going to be like a mutual conversation between both of you and open-heartedness now sorry <laughs> i'm inventing a word open-heartedness even it could be that one of the two is a writer okay or practices scripting to manifest this connection i know that life and the people living it can be an absolute bummer sometimes but i promise not to let unhappy chapters make me jaded if i let negative experiences turn my sore then the jerks swing so i'll move on with an open and hopeful heart if only because i hate losing to jerks you see your soulmate like you i think this is happening for both of you you're so fed up of bs of silly people of jerks you want the re the, the real deal you want somebody that truly is not afraid of loving and open their heart and not being afraid of a commitment and this is the type of soulmate that you are attracting and this lets me know that one of the two is very tall okay reminds me of a dinosaur i know it's not a dinosaur but it remi was reminding me of a dinosaur okay even it could be that one of the two could be a teacher hmm, or maybe loves to read a lot i don't know if this is happening to both of you uh this is beautiful i love it i love it okay You know what song i'm listening i don't know the lyrics and the i know it's from a series that was very popular could it be in the 90s na, 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 na. i'm sorry i don't sing well be patient guys do you know what song is that one from a series I know that the actress that was married to Tom Cruise, she was in that series, and this was the song of, the, of that series. So we have number 29 and number 19, both of them finishing in 9. Okay, could be talking about September for some of you. Serendipity and life purpose. This is so beautiful. So part of your life purpose is to meet your soulmate. For your soulmate to be practicing and doing and living their soul purpose it's important okay and i love it because the force is coming out open heart to to pigeons yes 
these are messages this is destiny this could be both of you believing in god believing in source believing in light i love it okay the stars the sun i love it some of you you're going to meet during the day and others you're going to meet during the night okay or in the evening and serendipity i tell you the way you're going to meet this soulmate is going to be completely different the way you're going to feel the way you're going to perceive somebody you know it's different crystal clear okay you're going you can trust your soulmate and this person even it could be that one of the two is a celebrity already it could be it could be okay beautiful let me focus okay that was quick so this is okay this is like a project a company a lot of abundance okay so this is let me know that maybe some of you you're going to meet through a collaboration or through work or maybe having something after work with your co-workers could be or that both of you you're going to create a very successful business together and you're going to create a lot of gold of abundance okay very rich so this is a change of the diet again talking about eating coffee shop restaurant as i said before so when you improve the way you eat you improve your life so this soulmate is going to improve your life you're like you're going to improve their lives so if this is going to be a very positive very positive and a lot of positive thoughts between both of you telepathy again i keep watching because these flowers in spanish is called pensamientos thoughts if i translate it i love it and your grandmother again coming up or a feminine energy helping you out with this connection okay or an ancestral i love it wow pregnancy if some of you you already parents and divorced don't worry because they're going to love your kid your kids even it could be that some of you are asking oh my gosh i'm go am I going to be able to become a mom or dad yes you will this is pregnancy so this is the a, new, a kid a, ki a baby being born uh, brings a lot of blessings to the world and to you and to both of you and affirmation so just spirit this is the last message for both of you so if you keep practicing positive affirmations this will elevate your energy your thoughts and this will help you attract your soulmate okay even it could be with a star that one of the two is aquarius and I'm surely you will meet in this aquarius era okay my loves so my angels, what a blessing to connect for all of you. If you have liked it, don't forget to subscribe. If you want a very good, very good economical reading for just $1, you have five minutes. Keen down below, Purple Garden, you pay $10 and they give you $10 more. And if you want to write a private reading from me or a session through Calm, and if you don't mind paying more, you have my shop down below. I love you guys so much. Oh my gosh, what a reading. You're so special. You're so magical. Thank you for being here. Bye, my angels. Bye. Welcome, group number two, my loves. Let's see how are you going to recognize your soulmate. So let's see what is this image, because these are photographs from NASA. And I love it that you have chosen the Angel Laura Quartz. It's one of my favorite quartz. Reminder that I sell crystals. If you want to ask me, you can ask me through my email. Okay, my loves, there are some of them that you can see over in, through my shop, I mean. <laughs> so let's see what is this and what's the message behind it because i channeled some messages and of course i searched for the information so in this case there's a lot of information okay from the three groups this is the the one that has more information i will read it so this is uh, this is saturn okay this is ringed saturn saturn sunlit northern hemisphere so this is saturn okay and i felt that i needed to to share this information coming from the vedic astrology the star uh, sorry anita sharon the star girl star girl the practical witch she was called like that before i think that she does she believe in vedic astrology she's always talking about this right so saturn is a special planet and has the power to influence the compatibility of two individuals for marriage and partnership okay <laughs> it's so funny because when i was writing down partnership 
I didn't have enough space over here, so of course I put it here. So this is letting me know that it could be that your soulmate is foreign or is living in a different location, okay? Also known as Shani Death in our Vedic tradition, Saturn is one of the most powerful planets that impact our life and karma. Saturn's lessons are often bitter and painful but are designed to assist the soul's growth over many incarnations. And Saturn's role is crucial in deciding long-term compatibility between two prospective partners. So one, so, so if, if this makes sense, okay, if, if this resonates for you, I feel that your next soulmate that you're going to go out with, not meet, just meet, go out with, and truly go out in a commitment. So probably all of you guys, you're going to end up in a very beautiful marriage okay even it could be that some of you you're going to work together or you're going to meet through a collaboration or through work or through studies it could be i don't feel this for all of you guys an incarnation so i think that of course a lot of karma ha um, i think that both of you guys you have deal with a lot of karmic relationships you thought they were the one in the beginning and at the end it was like oh my gosh how blind i was i think that it was part of your path it was part of your awakening and i think that both of you you have met in most of your incarnations and that's another sign for you another sign is that you're going to feel this familiar familiarity okay because if you guys you have been married in most of your past lives or in all of those past lives that you always reincarnated physically both of you i strongly i strongly believe group number two my loves that you are going to feel like if you were already married. So that's the sort of familiarity that I'm sensing for you. Okay, my loves, let's put it like this. Okay. And you know what I was telling him too, that there's something going on with their eyes. I think that, uh, that, that they have like a greenish, like green eyes, okay, or hazel green eyes. Or very light blue eyes i was sensing and yes i i am feel drawn to my crystal ball which i i sell many of these if you're interested this is <laughs> this is green adventuring and yes i sense that most of them they have very beautiful green eyes i don't know if you have been asking for this or some of you maybe you have you're lucky and you have very beautiful green eyes all all of you guys you have beautiful eyes <laughs> whatever color you have of course my loves so let us grab something up. So how are they going to recognize a part of feeling a lot of familiarity, like very comfortable. So you're probably you're going to feel very comfortable when you meet them. And you know something that I'm listening from your guardian angel, they're going to make sure that you're very comfortable. If they see that you're cold, they will lead, they will give you their coat. If they see you that they, if they sense that you are thirsty, they will grab, they will buy something for you quickly. If they, maybe I don't know, maybe they feel because I think that your person is so, so good at observing. You know, observing how people feel is very strongly, highly empathic. Maybe this is something that happens for many of you that you just by observing people you know if they're angry they're happy if they need to eat something because they're feeling low i think that's this is there's a mix of very strong intuition and very strong empathy if it makes sense so we have the page of pentacles you see <laughs> what did i tell you with the page of pentacles and the six of cups there's a sense of familiarity there's a sense of i know you have we met I think, I think this is going to be a phrase for many of you in the beginning. Have we met? Do I know you? And both of you, you're going, I think I see both of you, like the faces like, I'm not sure if we have to speak, if we have, have we talked before. I feel like I know you, you know? I love it. I don't think this happens many times um, unless we meet people from our soul tribe course but with your soulmate it's going to be even deeper you know like the connection stronger that's beautiful the 
The Empress, I love it. Okay. I think your mom is going to love your soulmate. Your mom is going to fall in love with your partner. Is going to say, my love. Now this is a 10. <laughs> okay. Maybe it's a grandmother for some of you. Or maybe this is a friend of yours, a female friend of yours, that it's a mom or it's pregnant. Okay. But yes, I see somebody that loves you, dearest, is telling you, whoa, <laughs> that's another sign. <laughs> okay, my loves. I love this type of readings. I enjoy this, doing these readings. I hope you too. Okay, I love it. So the Six of Pentacles, yes. When I was watching the Page of Pentacles, I thought about it, but I did not say it. One, another sign that you're, how you're going to recognize your soulmate is that they're very, very generous. They want to pay for everything, <laughs> everything. <laughs> the flight, the, and the everything, the restaurants, the drinks, the taxi, everything. Even if you are driving your car, they will pay for the for the petrol, <laughs> for the gas. I mean, sorry. <laughs> sometimes I'm speaking. Well, I, I'm always thinking in Spanish, so sometimes I do not translate correctly. Sorry. <laughs> So yes, very generous, economically very generous, and they're doing very well economically, okay? They started with little, they are very good right now <laughs> concerning the finances. Even if I could say for many of them, they could be wealthy, or they're just about to become very wealthy. They're full, I love it, okay? Another thing that you are, it's going to help you to recognize your soulmate is that they, they they feel fresh you know it's like yes they you have a sense of familiarity with them but at the same time you sense them like very clean you know clean person the way they smell they they, they their clothes are clean their hair is clean you can sense this is somebody that you can trust this is somebody that looks younger that's what, just that's what i'm telling from spirit your soulmate looks i don't know in some cases even it could be 10 10 15 years younger crazy if some of you in your 20s that's not your case maybe they look one two three years younger but yes your person as the older they get they look younger it's crazy i know maybe even they're going to tell you i think i'm an alien i have been i've I have been abducted so many times and that's, that must be the secret. That's why in my 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, I look better even when I was younger. <laughs> well, I don't think that. I think that they really do, they look very good right now or they look very good when they were in their 20s. But yes, hmm. I think that is because of their mindset as well. I was listening when I was watching this character with the sun, you know, the head so close to the sun. I think that this person believes in God, if it's not God, believes in energy, in the universe, in source, in the creator. And maybe this is the thing that has been leading you, I suppose it, it is. I mean, I believe in God. <laughs> I think that, yes, they believe that God or source or the creator has sent you to them and i'm listening because they have behaved good <laughs> this is so funny <laughs> what kind of thoughts sometimes we have right <laughs> this is so funny okay let me grab a different deck <laughs> so funny okay loves i think that you're going to watch a lot of tens 10 i don't know if you were born on the 10th or they have been born on the 10th oh my gosh Oh my gosh, the Empress coming again. Wow, could be talking about March, some of you. Marrying in March, okay? Some of you getting married in March. Wow, or maybe one of the two is Pisces, or has a very strong influence of Pisces in the chart. Wow, this is pregnancy. This is somebody powerful. You have the Knight of Pentacles, more Pentacles. Wow, the six of swords, I tell you my love, I tell you, I think that your person, I said it before, I think your person, they were born in a different country, they're not living where they were born, 
okay? I think that in most of the cases, the dad and the mom are from different cultures. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune. Too many cards in yours. One second. I want to shuffle one more. You see, your person is very rich, is going to become very wealthy. Maybe I'm talking about some of you. I have to be sincere. I think that all of you guys, you're destined to be very wealthy so you can do great so you can do a lot of light work with that money, with that abundance, you know? And you can get help. I see like, I think that because the mom, the, the motherly figure is coming twice, I think that the figure of the mom, it's very important for both of you. Wow, and the queen of wands, yes. I'm going to put this here. Well, they tell me to put it here. So, I see a very strong adm admiration. I'm not saying they have a, a toxic relationship with a mom. No, don't worry. That's not it. I would never encourage to go out with a guy or, I don't know, a man or a woman that has dad issues or mom issues. You know, that's not good for none of both of you. But... I really do think that there's a very strong admiration concerning a female figure. Maybe some of you, you admire your grandmother, maybe your soulmate admires their mom. There's like a very strong, important female role, female energy that has impact, the, impact your soulmate and that has impact you. And this is something that both of you, and I'm feeling goosebumps, thank you Spirit for the confirmation. This is something that it's going to be part of the conversation, okay? I love it. Even it could be that some of you, you're going to meet, to meet even this summer or from this summer to next summer. Summertime is important. Both of you, you were waiting for a new beginning. I think that both of you, you, you were asking for a fresh new start. You don't want to come back with an ex. You don't want to come back to the same kind of story. Maybe, maybe some of you somebody from the past that was going too slowly would love to return to you or uh, what i mean would love to go out with you or wants to know about you or maybe when you meet your soulmate your ex is going to perceive it with a rudder and they're going to contact you if it's not an ex it's somebody that was going too slowly it was like oh, exhausting for you ah, leave it behind i'm listening <laughs> leave it behind it's, it's it's not worth it okay I am watching India, I am listening Paradise, I am watching Mexico, Costa Rica, Spain, Greece, I am watching Russia, Ukraine, um, Egypt, I'm watching as well France, UK. Joan of Arc and Lady Venus, again, two women. Guys, in this deck, there are men as well. Look at that, San Michael Archangel. I think that San Michael Archangel is helping both of you guys to connect. Trust in heaven. You are safe, angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. So you, both of you, you're going to feel like a miracle has just happened. And you're going to watch a lot of feathers, okay? I don't know if this is going to, I don't know if one of the two has a tattoo of a feather, or maybe it's a t-shirt that he's wearing that has a feather, or maybe it's a necklace of St. Michael Archangel or a feather. There's something going on with feathers as well, okay? I love it that St. Michael, from, I love St. Michael Archangel. I don't know about you guys, but if you want to break curses, if you want to protect yourself from black magic, if you want to, if you need to connect with the love of your life, if you need help with finances, and Michael Archangel is the, for me, I was going to say the best. I love all of them, okay? I love all light beings, but oh, San Michael Archangel, I have seen him. <sighs> One day I will talk about that experience, if he allows me. Incredible. And again, two female energies, I tell you, my love, with the two empresses. So this is very important, very good sign, okay? So these two female energies 
with the Venus, this is so crazy because Venus was coming in group number one, okay, Venus is love. And Joanna Farca was saying France before, this is crazy, yes. So this female energy that has, that was a very, that impacted you and it has, I said, or maybe even it could be, I was listening, sorry if I interrupt, if I interrupted because I channel very fast. I was listening for some of you, maybe this could be a familiar energy of somebody, an ancestor, family member that passed away and many family members tells you, you look like her. You are like her and you never met them or maybe they, they passed away when you were very little. It could be her as well, okay? So, Joanna Farg, the voice of truth. So there's something going on with the voice as well of your person of your soulmate. You're going to love the voice, the way they talk. There's something that even I'm listening, it will turn you on <laughs> when they whisper to you, okay? Stand strong, focus on your purpose. So the thing about purpose is coming out again. Like group number one, release the fear of persecution and speak your truth, okay? So I think that this person, your soulmate, is going to, to come into your life. So this feminine energy is telling you, my love, is going to come into your life when you stop chasing it. When you stop chasing love, it will come like magic, like this. Voila, I'm listening. A lot of French, I'm listening. Canada, French. Okay, and Lady Venus, downloads and understanding. So it could be that one of the two is a channeler. Maybe one of the two is a tarot reader and you channel as well. Hello, my love. <laughs> So, truth is being revealed. Deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm. Again, twice talking about heaven. Two cards talking about heaven. So, both of you, you're going to feel like this is a miracle. This is like heaven. I feel so comfortable with this person. I feel like I know you. I feel like you, if you were all with... I think this is going to be a joke between both of you. Or maybe you're going to think about it, both of you, and maybe in the in the later months you're going to say that when I met you, I thought you were going, you were my husband. I thought you were my wife. I did not tell you because I don't, I did not want you to think of me that I was crazy, you know. So I see both of you very very sensitive, channeling, connecting, but you don't like to to share all of your downloads in the beginning. You need to have trust. But again, and I'm feeling goosebumps, this feminine energy coming from your side and coming from their side, even I think that they're talking and working together. Does it make sense? And I think physically, both of you, you look different. If you are blonde, they have brown, dark hair. If you don't have a lot of hair, they have a lot of hair. If you are dark chocolate skin they are very pale like me well i don't know if i'm very pale <laughs> to you guys <laughs> i get color okay i get on <laughs> okay my loves i love it i love it i love it and you know these flowers i don't remember the name of these flowers but oh my gosh they smell so well oof they're so beautiful and be careful guys, this is, maybe this is a very specific message for some of you who have cats. Be careful that your cats do not eat these flowers but because they can be poisonous for cats, okay? Okay, <laughs> just in case. If I listen that, to that message, maybe I have to say so. Okay, um, Yeah, What a beautiful reading. I can sense the full moon in Capricorn. Yes, I can sense it, loves. So interesting. Are some of you readers? Do you feel different when we do the when you do the pick a cards concerning astrology events? So amazing. Wow, resilience. Yes, I feel both of you when you meet one another. I love it because I I think that is, is this like a lady back, lady back, and we have an eagle. And we have a, is this a hummingbird? Could it be a hummingbird? Yes, you see, both of you, when you meet one or another, and number 25, okay, we sum it up at seven, both, 777, seven, seven, such a lucky number, uh, and a sole purpose number as well, for me at least. 
So both of you, you're not going to let go of this connection. Never, ever, 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 never, never. <laughs> I don't see even you guys breaking and coming together and breaking and coming together. No, 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 really. I don't see that. I don't see that. I don't see that. I don't know if you've experienced that in the past, but I don't think that's a good thing, right? That's more a karmic relationship, could it be? Okay, my love, so I'm going to grab this oracle. Okay. Wow, this is a question. I'm going to show you. I, I was not going to show. Okay, I was grabbing, I was grabbing this deck. And these two cards were in, in, in the middle, I did not notice. Sometimes I mix them and I forgot to put them back. This is so crazy. I was not going to show you, but the spirits told me and I show it. So this is in Spanish and this is worthiness and another female energy, another female energy. So this is generous nature. I tell you, my love, your soulmate is not going to allow you to pay for anything. <laughs> And your soulmate is going to tell you many times, I don't deserve you. You're too good for me. And I think you're going to think the same of them, you know? <laughs> this is so crazy. Wow. And both guardian angels, I told you, angel angels, both guardian angels working together. It could be that some of you, some of them have little children because you're divorced. Or maybe you have teenager children and you want to find love again. And this reading is for you as well. Or you are a grandmother or your grandfather and you want to find love again. Amazing. I love it. I love it. I am sorry. Wow, I'm feeling goosebumps. Both of you working. I don't know if you have been working with Oponopono, you know, working in the past, forgiving yourself and others, defense, defense, sorry, defenselessness, righting past wrongs, uprooting, yes. I think that both of you guys, you have done a great deal of personal work, you know? I feel you have been rooting yourself, your ancestors, and both of you even from the distance, rooting for one another, you know, giving support. And you needed to heal all of this first, or at least like the major thing that you needed to heal, because we are always healing, right? So you can find one or another. I love it. I love it. Let me... So your person has no problem saying, I'm sorry, okay? This is not a proud person. I'm not saying they're not proud of some things like you. They're proud of you and they're proud of the career. They're proud of the family. They're proud of the friends. They're proud of themselves. But I don't feel your soulmate is like ego, ego. I am right. You're wrong. I am right. No, that's not the sort. Sorry if I'm, <laughs> you can tell I'm half Spanish when I'm doing this sort of stuff. Sorry. <laughs> and I'm very natural. <laughs> So yes, no, they're not ego. They're not ego oriented. And jump in, yes, jump in. Andromeda energy adventure, say yes to change, say yes to this connection, say yes, say amen, say thank you to this connection. And again, what did I tell you? So very light blue eyes or green eyes. Wow. Even it could be that one of the two is a swimmer, a professional swimmer or an athlete. I am listening. Wow. Wow. I love this group. <laughs> I have not done the third group yet, but I think that if I, if I would choose one, I would choose this one. Wow. Group number two. I hope you have liked it. If you want a very, very economical reading with timing, more details and more specific for, worse, for just one dollar and five minutes. You have enough time to ask many things. If you're quick, you have my links of key in. And if you want more time, you have my link of Purple Garden, which is just ten dollars. If you want something with me, I shop online. My angels, don't forget to subscribe if you, if you don't want to miss more of my readings. I love you guys so much. <laughs> Bye, my angels. Bye. Hello, group number three. Hello, my loves. Love it that you have chosen the amethyst. Let's see this photograph of San of of Sana. <laughs> I was going to say NASA, of NASA. <laughs> what it is, and I love it that you, of course, that you have chosen the amethyst. So beautiful. One of my favorite gems. Is it yours as well? Okay. So 
this be beautiful image that was taken from NASA, no Sana. <laughs> and this is a, what it says, let me focus with more light. So it says, this is a supernova blast wave. Okay, love. And it says roughly 11,000 years ago, the massive supergiant Cassiopeia A shrunk down into a neutron star and the star's exterior shall explode it as it went supernova. I love it. <laughs> I love the word supernova. To this day, it is one of the brightest radio sources in the sky. I love it. So it could be, this is what I channeled when I was reading that before. Could be that one of the two or both, you will become very successful and a power couple. Very positive couple, prepared for stability, a very positive relationship. I was uh, listening bright stars, transits for some of you. People, many fans, people, communities, family will share your love story, will talk about your love story and marriage. I was listening, maybe for not all of you, because I know that some of you, you don't want to marry. It's not important for you, but well, marriage is stability. Wow, I love it. So yes, I was sensing with the supernova that both of you were going to become like a very well-known couple. I don't know if you have sensed that as well, or you have received this kind of information in other pick cards. Let me know in the comments if that's the case. So let us shuffle some tarot based in body weight. Could you tell us please, angels, archangels, ascended masters. Wow, the, the card of the full coming out again. This person doesn't, doesn't care about how much money you have. Your soulmate does not care about that. Maybe that's your mentality as well, but I feel that all soulmates here in group number three do not care at all about what kind of money that you have, but it's more worried that you are happy, okay? That you're happy in your life. We have with the nine of cups, we have the eight of cups. This is letting me know that your soulmate has recently left a bad situation, a toxic situation that was draining the energy lately. So we have the Ten of Cups, happy marriage. Okay, so your soulmate is trying to manifest a better stability for them and for you, for this beautiful marriage between both of you. We have the card of the sun. We have the card of the tower again. Sun and... <laughs> this is so crazy. The card of the sun and the tower, as I was telling you guys, wow, power couple, both of you becoming celebrities, famous. Mm, maybe if some of you, you don't want that because some people do not want that. Maybe this is saying that a lot of celebrities are going to hire your services, okay? A lot of celebrities are going to show your products. So it's many of you, but with this, with these two cards together, this is like, wow, like very, very famous couple. And it's funny because I don't sense both of you are looking for that. Maybe you have received the messages, maybe you're open to it, but it's not like you're obsessed of, be, of becoming famous or becoming a celebrity. And I think this is one of the reasons, so the main reason why both of you, because your priorities being happy, whatever money you have, being happy with yourself, that you're healthy, that your loved ones are healthy, that you have more than enough, you know? But I think it's because you're so relaxed, both of you, you're so relaxed in manifesting and creating, that that's why you are getting closer and closer. That's why you will have such a beautiful, happy marriage. That's why you'll become so, such a powerful power couple. And yes, and such a celebrity. Does it make sense? Normally the people that are not obsessed about something, you know, they're open to it, but they're not obsessed. It's not that fame drives them. I don't think that fame drives your soulmate or fame drives you, but I think that it's part of your destiny. So we have the Knight of Wands and we have the Eight of Wands on reverse. So I suppose 
it has been quite long the journey for both of you to find one another i think that both of you you thought that you were going to find each other much sooner <laughs> okay so even it could be that some of you you're going to meet in your late 30s 40s 50s 60s 70s could be maybe some of you know maybe some of you it's going to be your your first boyfriend your first girlfriend okay but it is true that you both thought that you were going to find each other sooner i see that very clearly but i am listening from spirit that okay i am listening because we are here i'm uh, sorry i'm i am watching the cards and i'm not telling you how are you going to recognize your soul I mean, i'm sorry about that i was so much into the channeling messages to sorry to the channel messages and the cards um so how are you going to recognize that's your soulmate you're going to recognize your soulmate because they're not obsessed with finding love yes they're, they're open to find love they're open to find you but they don't want to get obsessed about it they don't want to get sad about it you know i think that because your soulmate has been waiting for you so for so long that suddenly they are like okay okay god spirit source okay i release any type of control i will flow you know and i will be relaxed so one of the things that you're going to recognize about your soulmate that they are very they're they're chilling out you know very relaxed about everything in their life they love to to start new things to travel to new places they love to try new hobbies try new sports they're very open you're going to sense your soulmate that they are very they have a very open mind that they're very happy they're happy they're content about their life yes they can do better yes sometimes they leave jobs or or maybe they have been even fired in the past could be but you're going to sense that how the way they communicate to you about their past experiences is in a relaxed way it's not like oh why this has happened to me you know what i mean it's not with resentment it's not with anger issues. I feel your soulmate, you're going to recognize them because yes, maybe they're going to tell you that they have been waiting for a very long time for you. When the, when when both of you, you open yourselves and you, you say, I, I like you and I love you. But you're going to recognize them again by flowing with the universe. By, by, this is like, if we see this picture, right? the supernova i love it because i see a lot of green the green it's green the green chakra it's heart so you're going to recognize your soulmate that it's pure heart okay this is not some somebody mental this is not somebody like oh my gosh i need to do this and that or that otherwise i will not get famous otherwise i will not get rich no <laughs> your soulmate is like i flow i flow my path is stopping like this okay I change. <laughs> I am not earning enough money with this product. Okay, I will leave it. I will start something new. So they don't have any problem with flowing with universe. You know, this does. I don't want to. I don't want you to worry about this. This does not mean that. Oh my gosh, is he or she going to leave the first problem that we're going to have? No, 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 no. No, I think that your person, your soulmate. You're going to recognize that they truly fight for their people okay i don't feel your soulmate has a lot of friends okay i don't think so i think that they have maybe three four five i don't think they have more than five good friends okay and in reality they want to they want to have they want to have a yes they want to marry i am listening for some of them they want to marry again or they want to marry for the first time they really want a serious commitment with their soulmate but you're not going to sense that they are desperate about it okay uh i think this is good okay i think this is good because this is letting me know that this is a very healthy person okay i don't sense they are vibrating from trauma and the sun besides the tower this is letting me know that they are very balanced 
the shadow side and the, and the light, you know, the shadow and the light, it's very balanced. And I think that your person is very patient as well. You know what I mean? I think that you're going to, one other thing that you're going to recognize about your person is that they're very patient, they flow, they're not complicated, zero complicated. And maybe that's why they're going to be surprised that they're going to become famous. I don't think they're, again, I, I don't think that your person is searching to be famous or a celebrity. Maybe another thing, another trait, yes, I'm telling you that from spirit. Maybe another trait is that you're going to see them. And you know what I'm watching? If you want to meet a man, I'm watching James Dean. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how James Dean's story started, really. I don't know if he was looking for fame or he was discovered. And I'm watching Natalie Portman. I know Natalie Portman was hanging out in, I believe it was in New York. She was, um, I think she was in a pizza restaurant. She was taking some pizza and somebody saw her and he knew that she was, she, she had something special. I think this is your person as well, you know? They have something special and maybe they're not aware of it or maybe they're aware of it, but they don't care, you know? So I see like your soulmate, like zero ego, uh, zero drive, of course I need money. But again, I don't want you to worry that, oh my gosh, my, th my person does not have money. No, no, no. I really do think that they have money. And maybe even some of them, they are already rich, but they don't show that. Okay, the, your person is not somebody that they want to show off. They, they, they want to show off, oh my gosh, I'm rich, <laughs> you know? Or, oh my gosh, look at me. Or, oh my gosh, I'm going to take 10 photographs, which there's nothing wrong about that. If some of you, you, you like to do that because it's your job, your hobby, whatever, perfect. But this is not somebody that, oh my gosh, I have to take t 10 pictures of myself today and I have to post it. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to sleep at night. No, I mean, again, a lot of respect. If some of you, you like them to do that, a lot of respect. Uh, but yes, okay, <laughs> let's go, let's go, somehow we go. Sensuality coming out again. Yes, I mean, if I think of Natalie Portman or or, um, or James Dean, for example, yes, I think of very sensual, very sensual. Yes, it's so funny. Yes, so so your summit is is very sensual. I'm not sure they're aware of that. I don't think so. I see your soulmate looking a lot to the stars, you know, I think that even it could be that some of them, they love astrology or they know about astrology. Maybe they have an astrology channel in YouTube. Some of them, you know, they love to watch the stars. They, they get activated at night. I am listening as well. Your soulmate gets activated at night. Oh my gosh, this looks like stars, right? Acceptance. Okay. When I get to know new people, I accept their actual traits rather than the ones I project on them. Same goes for not new people, you already know. Acceptance is a delicate art that reminds us everyone is their own unique self and we can't expect them to ever be anything but. Man, how do, do, how, how do those snowflakes do it? Yes, I love it. Yes, that's your soulmate. They are very open-minded. They accept that not everyone is the same. They don't judge, okay? They don't judge. They don't, they don't like that sort of stuff. They don't like to judge. They don't like to be judged. I was watching as well Bob Marley, you know? Maybe some soulmates look like Bob Marley. And if Bob Marley was a woman, maybe a woman like that, you know, like very open-minded. Um, although they have... I do think that really good friends, it's not a lot of them, but they're very open. I mean, they could talk with a stranger every day, with several strangers. They love animals. I think that your person loves dogs in particular. They love dogs, okay? Or maybe in nature and animals in general. Even it could be that some of them, they have a farm or they would love to have a farm or they would love to, to live in the forest or very close to a forest. I think that your person feel suffocated in the city. They need to, to watch the stars at night. They need to 
to listen to nature. They, they love to wake up with the sounds of the birds singing, you know? This is so poetic. I think that your person is so poetic as well. I think that you're going to love the way they communicate, the way they express. I think that your person is very romantic as well. Okay, they live life romantically. Hmm. And I think this is so magical. Do you know what? This reminds me. I was, ah, let me see if I remember his name. This was, this was a scientist that was um guys i will edit the video and i will put it you know have you seen this that this man started when we put because everything is energy right and he showed and i'm feeling goosebumps he showed when 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 he was uh, feeling or thinking of the feeling of anger how for example the snowflakes appear like very ugly and when he was thinking of love, how the snowflakes appeared so beautiful, you know? So I think that your person, I don't know if some of them, the Reiki healers, the Reiki masters, or they like Reiki, or they like yoga, they're a lot, a lot into meditation. I think that your person is pure energy, you know? I think that people always notice your soulmate. And I'm sure that I'm talking about many of you. <laughs> you, you, yes, you get into a room and people stare at you. Hmm. Yes, because both of you, both of you, you're like this, like this supernova blast wave. Both of you, you are, you are different. I think that... I think this is this happens for both of you. Let me know in the comments if if that's true. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. But I think that both of you you impact anyone's lives that you cross yourself with. I think that even if you don't speak with someone, but they're close to your energy, their life will never be the same. So both of both of you you're like these big satellites, you know. You're so good with Mm, expanding your energy, changing the energy of the environment, changing the energy within yourself, changing the energy in, in, on others. And if you believe in star seeds and if you like Dolores Cannon, I, I may think of the second wave for all of you. But you like, I think that you like people. <laughs> Maybe some people you don't like, but I really think that you, both of you, you hear on a soul mission. I'm sorry, I am telling you, I'm not watching the screen sometimes. I'm sorry if it's not focusing sometimes. Uh, I really do think that it's part of your sole purpose to have all of that, all of those tools or or maybe that famous or celebrity vibes that you're going to get into is because I don't think you care about that or your soulmate, but it's you care about helping humanity. You 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 care about helping other star sets. You help you 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 care about helping Mother Gaia. You know. And maybe you like to see money or resources a way to help more, you know? Is that true? I feel drawn to grab this oracle. This is so beautiful, the images and the messages. Both of you, you're very special. I even think that, that both of you, you are like very young souls in this planet. I think that you have traveled to many other planets. That's why the supernova star, if you believe in reincarnation and you believe, and sometimes you feel that you are more from an other galaxy. I, th I do think that you're quite a young soul here in this planet. That's why it's so easy for you to love unconditionally. I'm not saying by this that sometimes you don't get angry or frustrated. Of course, we are living a human experience, right? But I see a lot of enlightenment, a lot of empathy, understanding, a lot of patience. I think that maybe you have developed patience throughout your lifetime and your soulmate as well. And I love it. We have number 35, the pathway. Okay, direction, purpose, and change. You see, I think that both of you, you're standing, you're here, and your soulmate is standing, although we don't see it, is standing on this side of the ridge. And I think that both of you, you needed to discover yourself again, to remember who you were and yes and to grow as a, a very beautiful light soul that you are connected to source 
again so funny because i was saying that your soulmate loves to watch the stars look at that she or he is watching the stars so beautiful the moon as well wow and five plus three is eight and i am recording in 2024 which is a an eight it is the year of the dragon okay i think this is important and um, maybe your soulmate has been born in a year of the dragon you know it reminds me of the zodiac sign the chinese one the dragon or maybe he or she they relate a lot to the animal totem of the dragon or maybe the spirit guide it's the dragon there's something going with that symbol indeed and the other card that came out my love it's number 37 the mirror other lives past lives and dimensional lives yes i really do think that both of you you have met many times through your dreams okay astral projections i am listening and of course you have done this kind of work first within yourself and then together in many of your past lives hmm so beautiful one of these what a beautiful reading indeed i have enjoyed it a lot i hope you too <laughs> don't forget to subscribe if you have liked the reading of course and anna grandmother of you is so funny because my name is anna with one n sitting the light laying foundations and divine plan so there's something going on with uh, with Anna, the grandmother of Jesus, I think that maybe she's helping both of you in this connection and helping you in your divine plan. Have you felt her? This is so funny. Wow. Well, she reminds me as well of Venus. Venus was coming out in the three groups. And we have Egypt at the back. Okay, so this is a very strong connection with Egypt for both of you. Wow. I love the energy here. Let me shuffle another one. And Imrama, okay. Ra reminds me of Egypt again. Where are you being called to journey to? It could be that some of you you're going to meet through a trip, okay. Or maybe after you move somewhere else, or maybe they, or maybe after they move close to you. There's something going on about moving, traveling, okay. Okay, nice. I was listening Alejandria. Wow. Group number three, what a pleasure. I hope you have liked it. If you want a private reading from me, you have my shop down below. And if you want something more economical, like Keen, you have five minutes for just one dollar. It's nothing through my link. And in Purple Garden, you pay $10 and they give you extra $10 more the moment you pay. Thank you so much if you're going to proceed. It's a way to support me with a donation and they are amazing. That's where I go personally. My loves, I love you guys so much. I hope to see you in the next reading. Bye, my loves. Bye.